Good morning to you, FCF. We are in our third day uh, of our eight-day journey. It'll cover two-week period where we're looking at the subject of enthusiasm, that God has made us in His own image and God is enthusiastic about all that He does. We are wired to be enthusiastic about all that we do in life as well. And when we go at life with enthusiasm, we grow, we develop our capacity for greater enthusiasm. It grows as we intentionally uh, become enthusiastic about everything that God has laid out for us in this life. Let me read to you today from Romans chapter 12, uh, verse 11. And it's a real simple verse, but it's a powerful one. The Apostle Paul writing to followers of Christ living in Rome, he says, Never be lacking in zeal. Interesting word. It's the idea of energy, passion, enthusiasm. Never, he says, never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor. Once again, this word fervor your heat, your energy, your spiritual fervor for serving the Lord. Never be lacking in zeal, never be lacking in zeal, but keep your spiritual fervor serving the Lord. Well, the easiest thing that we can see is that, that God does not want His people to ever be unenthusiastic, to be lethargic, to be apathetic, to be lazy, to do things mechanically, to just kind of fumble through life, watching the clock. That, that is not the way He designed us. That is not His highest and His best for us. It says we're to serve the Lord with zeal, with this idea of passion, with this idea of fervency. Spiritually, we are to never be lacking in zeal. We are to serve the Lord. That shows that this is something that we have to put our intention behind. God calls upon us, make yourself aware. Keep a watch on your life. Now, He wouldn't have told us to keep our spiritual fervency, our zeal, unless we had a tendency to lose our spiritual fervency or zeal. And so God is telling us, you can grow in this area, you can develop in this area, but you have to watch yourself. You might start to drift, you might start to lose energy, you might start to lose enthusiasm. So, he says there never should be a time where we're lacking in our zeal, so God's going to empower us to do what He calls us to do. And He says we should always have our fervency in serving the Lord. So we're not just to serve the Lord mechanically. We're not just to serve Him apathetically or dutifully even. We are to serve with fervency of heart. It's the idea of passion and heat. So this tells me that I'm going to be more fully human and fully alive. I'm going to be more like Christ when I cultivate these traits, when I guard that these traits are always uh, active in me, when I monitor my life and I watch to make sure I'm not losing energy in my devotion to Christ and in my service to the Lord. So, you're going to be blessed, others are going to be blessed when you and I put our will on the side of God's will and become intentional about watching the spiritual temperature, the spiritual enthusiasm level at which we have our, our devotion to the Lord and particularly to the Lord's work. So how are you doing today when it comes to uh, being fervent in your heart in your service to the Lord? Thank you for watching today.